Quick toot, I'm going to be recreating Bliss La Resistance Oxidaski remix. I've been asked to do it as a request. Uh, firstly, when you're recreating someone else's track and you want to sort of emulate the same rhythm, uh, you want to find out what key the track's in. You want your kick drum to be hitting at the same frequency. You want your bass line to be hitting at the same notes. That's going to provide a lot of uh, personality, which is going to help you match uh, and and recreate that bass line. So what I've done is I've figured out what key it's in. It's in the key of F. Um, the first note is in the key of G sharp and the rest is in F. It's just got uh, a good amount of pitch and whatnot. And what I've done is I've EQ'd uh, the actual track and then I've just dragged back um, the EQ and I've uh, taken out the high mids and all I'm left with is the bass line. So I can know, I know from the um, from the actual frequencies that it's hitting. If I just run my cursor over that, it says G sharp. So I know that that's a G sharp note. To, so to emulate that uh, track, I now have the tools and the capability to do that. So let's get straight into the sound design. Uh, this is my version. It's not 100%, but it is uh, the same key and the same vibe. Um, if I was recreating the track, if I was actually uh, producing, I'd be refining it a lot more. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll, get, I'll just bang it out really quickly. And it's actually really not that complicated. So that's what I got on the uh, group channel there. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, and let's jump into Serum and I'll show you how I've done it. So basically I've created a side chain here, like so. Brought the level all the way up, filter on, brought it back a touch, and then just sent the LFO over to about 23. Uh, and that's going to be the sound for the first note. Remember, G sharp, so it's going to be exactly the same as Bliss's. And that's the first note. Second note is this. Uh, and this one was a little bit difficult, not difficult, a little bit uh, a little trickier. So I've gone and done something along these lines, the old shark fin sort of thing. Brought the level up all the way and done something similar, but I've opened it up uh, to 46, so a bit more, just to get a bit more uh, of that snappy pluck out of it. So let's hear that. Uh, so the first two notes will be this. So already sounding pretty good. And the last one is it opening up all the way, so something along those lines, make sure, making sure to get the kick out of the way. Brought the level all the way up, bring the cutoff back a touch, and then bring the LFO one over to 55. And that's pretty much it. And then the, the fourth note is the same note as the second. So basically all you're playing with now is that, 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 that. Uh, if I had more time, I'd like to uh, try and match the tone of what he's got. Uh, but at the same time, it could just be effects and whatnot. It could be, uh, you know, what compressor he's put on, what EQ and what, what uh, you know, saturation, all that sort of stuff. But this is the general premise of what he's done. Don't forget to side chain it. So you want to get the bass line out of the way of the kick, obviously. You want the kick to be the main point of focus and the bass line to be the rhythm maker. So uh, just listening to what I've done here with the multiband on it, with a, with a good amount of top end and a little bit of EQing, let's just listen to it. If I had more time, I'd definitely refine that a little bit more, but basically that's the general premise. So this is his version with the EQ off. Obviously it's going to sound a lot better. And my version is this. Without all the effects and, uh, you know, the snares going on at the top. So if you ever want to recreate a track, find out what key it's in, find out what notes he's hitting, and um, look at the EQ. You have all the uh, information there to recreate the track. It's very simple stuff, guys. Every reference track, uh, every track I've ever had to actually recreate, it's all basically the same premise. So, um, yeah, if anyone has any more tracks they want me to recreate, or if anyone wants me to do anything quick toots wise, just shoot over a message. I'll be glad to do it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you guys learned something. Follow me for more quick toots. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.